Hey everybody, I uh, haven't talked to you guys in a while, um, so thanks for your patience. Things have been pretty crazy. Um, at work we had a, a conference and that's pretty much soaked up all my time preparing for that. And um, unfortunately, my colleague who sits in the desk uh, right in front of me, um, she passed away. Um, she had breast cancer, she's been fighting it for a year, and she finally passed away two days ago. Um, so just there's been a lot going on in life. Um, that also is about the same time my mom passed away three years ago. So that brought up a whole bunch of emotions. Um, but things have just basically been kind of crazy. Uh, but here we are, we have a video for you. Um, so today we went over to the um, UVU Center for Autism and we're gonna play a little footage of um, Marilyn who helped us out over there. And we talked about Alistair and um, how to help him progress. And she gave um, just a very basic evaluation, just her thoughts and opinions on um, where Alistair should be headed. And she did agree that she thinks that he has autism and that um, he does need to get into programs like ABA therapy and um, school programs, things like that. So to keep this short, um, yeah, I'll play the, the footage for you. And my lovely wife is behind the camera here, behind the phone, and we'll have more videos coming out um, hopefully soon. Um, but we just wanted to share this as a resource and document Alistair's progress as things are going on. Oh, and Connor, a lot of, a lot of you wanna know, Connor is, doing a lot better. He has an aid through his IEP. Um, and we have to go pick him up from the, the school right now. So we'll go ahead and play the, the footage of Marilyn and we'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks. I work for the Integrated Services Program for the Utah Department of Health and we provide services here at the UVU Melissa Nelson Autism Center for anybody in the community or in the state, for any family who has children with special needs. And what we do is help families figure out what resources are available to their family, depending on their need, and help come up with a plan with the family so that they can uh, access the resources, know what they can look for and where they can go, and have a have more resources that are individualized to what their needs are. Excellent. And Marilyn's been helping us here with um, Alistair, providing resources and our other boys as well, um, providing pamphlets and information um, to help get them on the right course. So that's what we're doing here. And um, obviously speaking, we brought Alistair in here, but he started crying, so we brought him out. Um, but yeah, just to help him on the path, because obviously he has some issues that we're concerned with. Um, and as you stated too, you you noticed some things with him that, you know, we probably need to get on the path of, you know, diagnosis and ABA therapy and things like that. So anyway, just uh, wanted our viewers to know that there, there's this resource out here and to thank Marilyn for her time and um, letting us um, get this sound bite here of her um, talking about this as a resource uh, here at UVU. And that's it. So thank you. All right, it's the second time. Okay, wait, <laughs> time to go. It's time to go bye bye. You want to go? Let's go bye bye. I know. Let's go bye bye. So sick. Uh oh, here we go. Can we take your purse? Just take it. Okay, come here, buddy. Thank you. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. So Alistair was having a, a tough time in there. He was just thrashing around and everything. Um, yeah, we just asked Marilyn her professional opinion, and she's like, yeah, I think, I think you need to get him diagnosed. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're all strapped in now, okay? Here you go. Here you go. I want a mint. You want a mint? I want a mint. Mint? Oh, there you go. You like mints. Yeah, that helps. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, buddy. Buddy, I love you. Oh, hard time, hard time, I know. We'll get you home, okay? We'll get you home.